Welcome to the last episode in this series. So far, we've learned the basics of filmmaking and looked at simple ways to improve the look and sound of your film. Let's look back at the first attempt. Snap. Ha! In your face! Man, we should actually learn how to play this game now. Not bad. But let's see what happened when we added more angles, used some simple lighting tricks, and worked on better sound recordings. Snap! Right. Woo! Ha! In your face! Man, we actually need to learn how to play this game though. I think we're ready to submit our film to a festival now. Every film festival will have its own guidelines and regulations for entry, so be sure to read these carefully for each festival. Pay particular attention to file formats. Have a look at the resources section of our website, where you'll find links to free video conversion programs and how to use them. Most festivals will require you to supply a still image from your film. This image should be visually interesting it should represent the spirit of your film. It may, for example, feature your main character. Make sure the image is clear and will work well in both colour and black and white. Here's one we've chosen for our film. Next, you'll need to write a logline or synopsis of your film. For a short film, this should be just a couple of lines. It should tell us about your main character, their goal and what stands in their way. Here's the one we wrote for our film. So that's it. Your film is finished and winging its way to a festival. All that's left to do is to write your acceptance speech. I hope you've enjoyed our tutorials and that they've helped you in some way. What's most important is that you get out there and give it a go. And we look forward to seeing your films at the next Fresh Film Festival.